Hello, uh, this is Steve Young for the co-roundtable for Moral Capitalism in our new offices in Landmark Center. An elegant older building uh, was once a federal courthouse, which was restored and is now used for nonprofits here in St. Paul, Minnesota. I want to bring you a couple of uh, discussions, if you will, where we reflect on ideas or worries or insights which have arisen with this incredible new experience of the virus. Uh, COVID-19, the coronavirus, SARS-CoV-2, uh, something unique in human history, both for the scope and size, combined with uh, immediate instantaneous knowledge and awareness of what's going on around the world. One of the things I'd like to talk about is, is, is risk shifting, the shifting of risk from some to others. And some of you may, may be familiar with, after the financial crisis of 2008, there's been a lot of talk, Thomas Piketty in France uh, has written a couple of books on this, a lot of other people, on, if you will, the increasing inequalities, is, is a phrase that's used, where we talk about the top 1% of the world, or the top 10% of the world, uh, having a disproportionate share of both income and wealth. Um, and this has been talked about in America more and more, that the bottom 20%, 30%, the middle class has shrunk. Uh, in real terms, it doesn't have the same access to wealth and therefore maybe political influence or, or, or social safety nets as it did in the 1950s. What has this virus and our response to it shown us? Well, one of the things that's come out here in America and it's affected our politics recently, is the, the impact of closing down an economy, the lockdowns. The impact seems pretty clear that those people on the bottom have had to shoulder a disproportionate share of loss of income, loss of wealth, loss of opportunity, a destabilizing impacts on their family situation. And that the elite, whom I will be generous and say, you know, the top, 40%, 30%, basically white, well-educated white-collar people who, who can work from home. That is the nature of their jobs. They have access through computers to Zoom, to other things. Um, they can still more or less uh, stay on the payroll. Um, and secondly, financial risk. Those, the top 1%, the top 10%, um, they, they're going to come through okay. They may be set back a little bit, but they'll be okay. Somebody who lives on a paycheck, somebody who works as a, as a waitstaff person, you get paid $9 an hour, uh, you got one or two credit cards, you've got rent, you've got medical bills, you've got all these things. Uh, the risk of, of this pandemic got shifted before the pandemic started to those people with the lesser amount of wealth, power, uh, and influence. And I think that's something we need to pay attention to as we come out of the pandemic. How do we build in institutions which are more open to risk sharing rather than risk shifting?